So we've made forms before. We're just going to put everything inside different divs in order to organize it best. So we're going to do the form first off. The form has to have a name, and that would be contact form. It has an ID with the same as the name, contact form. as an action and a method is post. We're actually going to put the form inside a div called my form. Each of these is going to be its own div. Um, so we're going to just start out with uh, first name. And that's going to have a div. Class equals form item. And we'll do that for every one of these items. So I've added a form item to each section of this form, including the submit button. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit format source code now that we have all the text inside some uh, HTML so that it doesn't all squish up together when I hit this. I'm going to hit the apply source formatting so we can get it into the um, indents that are going to make it helpful. For these, I'm going to do first name on this one, and I need the label. And it's label for F name. first name, and then I'm going to do an input the name has to be the same as the four, ID is the same as well, it is the type text and the value is empty because we don't want anything showing up in that box. And we're going to say that it's required. What required means is just what it says, that this has to have that box filled in in order to submit the form. We're going to put each one of the actual input items inside an unnamed div and we'll be able to do some styling that way. Let me show you the um, where we're going for, where we're going to here. We're going to have these boxes line up across. This is one big box. This is also in lined up columns. And so what this extra div is going to allow us to do is to get the input box to go all the way across. Um, otherwise, it's just going to go, otherwise we won't be able to control it as easily, the size, uh, the width that we want. We're going to, we also need to add one other um, class to each of the ones that has two columns on it. So div class form item also gets form column one, and then whatever's in the second uh, column 
so in this case last name gets form column two. Note that when we're using two classes they both go into the same class definition just separated by a space. So I'm going to go ahead and, and put the rest of these labels and input fields in and then let you do that as well and in the next video we'll start styling.